hey, I want to go ahead and say before uh, this podcast got started that uh, I was playing around with new software and it added a weird audio echo. I apologize for that. Um, next time I'll probably just go ahead and make sure to do a secondary audio edit. Uh, so that way, if it does do an echo, I can replace it with something that doesn't have an echo. I don't know what created it, but it's there. Now, I'm going to move on to my soapbox, which means I'm going to be getting fairly political. But I'm going to do something fun at the end. This might be a longer soapbox, too, because this is going to be on Jeff Bezos, and he's done some funky stuff over the past couple weeks, and it's it, he's a he's, you know, fucker. And and I use Amazon more than I want to admit. But, uh, yeah, Jeff Bezos, too much money. And we're going to go over that. So, to kind of set up how much money Jeff Bezos has, he has approximately $180 billion. It's the CEO of Amazon. There is no way on earth a person can work enough to earn a hundred and billion dollars you don't earn that you just you accumulate that it's impossible no worker can earn 180 billion dollars give you an idea of how much 180 billion dollars is in his entire life jeff bezos is 57 years old in his entire life on average he has accumulated a hundred and fifty thousand dollars a minute you can't even I can't even fathom that. Can you fathom having a hundred and fifty thousand dollars a minute? You can't even fucking spend that. You can get anything in the world you've ever wanted or even conceived of, and you aren't even close to spending that fast. It's a baffling amount of money, and he has control of it. So, and and one of the stories that came out not that long ago was a ProPublica story. Hey, I still have a picture. This picture up here. We're gonna go ahead and kill this. It was this ProPublica story talking about how Jeff Bezos and lots of uh, these rich jerks have like no are not. I'm gonna bring it up, but these guys are not paying taxes. You get to hear me type on my keyboard. Let's bring this up. And I wish I'd uh, come up with some good green screenshots for this one. But here's what we're at. So Jeff Bezos hasn't been paying. Uh, uh, there's many years he hasn't been paying money. Uh, here it is. Now I can bring you the actual facts here right now. No. Where is it? Oh my god. Why why is this story all of a sudden hiding? It was a big deal. Here we go. Here we go. This is the good one. Okay, so the full breakdown. Jeff Bezos. Uh he has accumulated ninety-nine billion dollars from 2014 to 2018 uh he has reported 4.2 4.22 billion dollars of that in that amount of time and he has paid a total amount of taxes of 973 million dollars so it's almost a billion dollars it seems like a lot but if we look at his tax rate that's 0.9 percent it's nothing and that's it's it's just baffling that he would pay so little and let's see there's actually ah but yeah you know go to the pro public cup piece because there's actually time years where he paid zero and that was just it is unfathomable that someone with that much money is paying Little to no taxes. The fact that he has 180... Nobody needs a billion dollars. And he has 180 of them. And at most, over a five-year... Four or five-year period, we're taking one... One... One hundredth of... One... One hundred and eightieth of that. That is unfathomable. Now, the next story to come out. Uh... 
So, uh, next story was that uh, he announced that he wants to go to space personally. Now, this is nothing. He wants to go to space personally uh, through his Blue Origin company. And, uh, brain farting. Yeah, he wants to go, what, what he says is what, when he what says he wants to go to space is that he's going to go to the highest level of the atmosphere, still considered space, for like a moment and then come back. He's not like going to orbit the Earth or something like that. It, he's barely, it's like he's going to barely tap space and then come back. Now, in order to do this, though, uh, he's going, he, he's asked the government for money. He asked for taxpayer money. This dude that has $180 billion asked taxpayers for money. He asked, uh, apparently there's uh, this loan given out to uh, space companies. Uh, supposed to be, I guess, instead of giving this to NASA, we actually give this to companies. And he lost the bid to Elon Musk and his SpaceX uh, company. And so what he did was he started lobbying lobbying senators in the tune of $625,000 to pass a second piece of legislation that does the same thing that Elon Musk just got given to him for his blue origin. Now, I don't agree that Elon Musk have gotten $10 billion for SpaceX because fuck that. He has the money to pay for it. And so does Jeff Bezos. And the idea that he is now, when I say lobbying, we all know that's code for bribing. He is bribing these guys to the tune of $625,000 for this, so they can write legislation to give him $10 billion for his fucking vanity project of Blue Origin. This money, this is what's going on. We need, we should be giving this money to NASA so they can actually, like, explore space. This is why corporations and government are different. Because corporations are just out there to make money. Or for fucking vanity projects like this. Whereas NASA actually, because it's a government agency, is actually interested in exploring and scientific research. Jeff Bezos just wants to make a fucking buck. And Elon Musk is just wants to live on Mars because that's where his people are from because he's a weird fuck. And uh, it's so frustrating that they are bribing these guys. And here's a super frustrating. $625,000 in lobbying? bought him the Senate. I'm not even joking. Uh, the final vote came down 68 to... It's, it's like 68 to 30, because there are two non-votes. It was something like that. Uh, and fortunately enough, it was killed in the House. So he did not get $10 billion in taxpayer money for his fucking vanity project. Um, but I just... I'm so frustrated that it came to that. And here's the really frustrating thing about that. Let me show you. Is this it? Oh, no. But that's uh, that's the story about the, the bailout. Uh, that's a story from The Intercept, if you want to look it up. Uh, the reporters were Sarah Sirota and Ryan Grimm. They do great work there. Uh, check it out. But that's the story about him trying to get his second bailout after uh, Elon Musk stole the bailout from him. Really annoying. But here we go. These are the senators that voted yes for Bezos to get $10 billion in taxpayer money. That's our money. And they're going to give it to the richest man on earth. Now, you want to know something interesting about that list? Because I know something really interesting about that list. There's, in every single person who marks their name with a D, voted yes. Now, I'm a lefty. I agree with Democrats way more often than Republicans. But this is some bullshit right here. I, I, I'm going to go ahead and read off this list. Because these, this is, you need to be asking these people, what are they doing? They can't agree on infrastructure. Something that would objectively help the lives of every American. Our infrastructure gets a grade of D. And we need to boost that. We have one of the worst infrastructures in the world. And we're the richest country in the world. And there's no excuse for that. And these guys, 
they're going to vote no on infrastructure. Well, I guess since there's a lot of these, they'll vote yes on infrastructure. But they, they, they can come to a bipartisan agreement to give Jeff Bezos $10 billion. Thank God the House killed it. But they can't come to a bipartisan agreement on fucking infrastructure, which our country desperately needs. So let's go ahead and go, I'm going to read each and every one of these fuckers. I'm going to say their name. And we just need to ask, what the fuck are these guys doing? Are they just voting yes without bringing legislation? Or do they know the legislation and they're just corrupt? Because $625,000 to buy $10 billion seems like a fucking bargain to me. So anyways, all we have is, uh, we're going to read off their last names here. You'll recognize some of them. He, these are the yes votes to give Jeff Bezos taxpayer money. Uh, Baldwin, Bennett, Blumenthal, Blunt, Booker, Cory Booker, not a shock. Uh, Brown, Cantwell, Brown, Sherrod Brown, I'm so disappointed. Uh, Cap Capito, Cardwin, Cardin, Caper, Casey, Collins, Coons, Cornyn, Cortez Masto, Crap, Crapo, probably Crapo, I'm going to pronounce it Crapo. He voted yes on this. Drains, Duckworth, Durbin, Feinstein, of course. Uh, Gillibrand, of course. Graham, Grassley, Hassan, uh, Heinrich, Hickenlooper, Hirono, Kane, Kelly, King, Klobuchar, Leahy, Lujan, Manchin, of course. Markey. Fucking disappointed in you, buddy. McConnell. Menendez. Merkley. Murkowski. Murphy. Murray. Ossoff. Padalia. I'm terrible at names. You probably know that. Peters. Portman. Reed. Reich. 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 Romney. Rosen. Rounds. Shates, Schumer, Shaheen, Cinema, duh, of course, Cinema, uh, Smith, Steuben now, Sullivan, Tester, Tillis, Van Hollen, Warner, Warnock, Warren, God, she's so disappointing, White House, Wicker, Wyden, and Young. So, the that that list is almost entirely D's and a lot of R's. The only senator I like that vote against this damn thing was Sanders. And it's profoundly disappointing that these guys vote to give Jeff Bezos money and we need to seriously be asking what the fuck are these guys doing in power. Because it's frustrating. These guys... They control the rules. They don't need to be taking money from anybody. But they do for re-election campaigns. They could rewrite the law so they didn't have to. But fuck it. Let's just do it this way. Because fuck the American people. Am I right? Our system is so corrupt. It's... These people are... I cannot believe... I guess I don't have much more to say about this soapbox, but these people are just dis disgust me. Who in their right mind will give Jeff Bezos extra money? And we need to look at these people and figure out exactly what they're doing and why they would vote for this. Oh, another fact I want to share. Because we don't need billionaires. We have we have a few billionaires, and we don't need a single one. And I'm going to share with you a little fact about billionaires. Let's say you landed on you landed on this country with Columbus back when he first landed in, in America, and you make ten thousand dollars a day. Now there's going to be two concessions to this. Number one. You don't spend a penny of that. And number two, you don't die. 
So you you're on you you land on America on its founding, ten thousand dollars a day every day since then. Today, you're not a billionaire. Ten thousand dollars a day, you're not a billionaire. We don't need billionaires. It's gross. It's obnoxious. We have a homelessness crisis, and we have to deal with billionaires. Jeff, fucking Jeff Bezos needs ten billion dollars because his one hundred eighty billion isn't enough. Fuck him. Fuck all billionaires. There's so many social problems a billionaire could fix, but they don't because they don't give a shit about anything but themselves. So fuck these people. Seriously. I want to go ahead and add some audio credits at the end here. Uh, the theme music you're hearing at the beginning and end of this podcast was uh, written and performed by George Johnson, a very good friend of mine. And my current Patreons are uh, Fel Martins, David Lara, and Lindsay Painkhurst. If you'd like to become a patron, go ahead and follow the link down below. Anything you can provide would be incredibly helpful to this channel. We're barely limping by right now. Uh, I'd love to make this my full-time job, but I'm miles away from that right now. So any help you could provide, just a dollar a month would be amazing. You know you want to. All your friends are doing it.